Hey guys, welcome back to Designer Savvy. I'm Nancy. If you're new, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. And if you've already been joining me on this journey, welcome back. I am so excited about this new year. I have some awesome videos planned for you for January. It's all about the home. It's a month and a year of new beginnings and a fresh start. And what better way to approach that than making your home a better place to be. A place of peace, refuge, comfort, fun, a place that you will enjoy and want to be as often as you can. So join me on this series. You won't want to miss it. I've got some great ideas and tips for you, so let's get at it. There are many approaches you can take to organizing and decluttering. I choose and strongly suggest that you start with one of the rooms that you are in the most. And for me, it's gonna be the kitchen because that's kind of the hub of the home and we are here a lot in the kitchen. So time is very valuable to me and I love to be efficient. And believe it or not, when we moved in here, this house was in order and everything was in a place that it needed to be. But as time goes on and life gets really, really busy, then we kind of start throwing things here and there and it can quickly become a mess again. So time to reorganize and declutter underneath the kitchen sink. So that's where we're going today. So here's a closer look of what underneath my sink looks like. It is quite messy. I have things thrown into bins. I started to be organized at first and it is organized but it's kind of an organized mess and don't like it quite this messy can't get to things as easily as i would like to so i'm going to redo it a little bit and i'll show you what i have in mind when i first came up with this system that you see there now i thought it would be great because the taller cleaning supplies i could keep in a taller container they wouldn't topple over and that kind of thing but it's not really working well for me because I have to pull the entire container out just to reach for a product. And as you can see, it's a mess and I can't really see what's in there. So I'm gonna take a different approach. I actually have this Lazy Susan and I'm gonna set um, my main cleaning products on that that I use day in and day out. And I also have a smaller one. I didn't pay much for these at all. $2.99. Um, I'm trying to remember where I got this. I typically shop at Marshall's Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Ross. So I guarantee you it came from one of those places. So there's a small Lazy Susan. And for anything that needs to be in a container with the lid, like maybe sponges or something like that, I have this um, Sterilite container. Love that. The lid snaps open, closes. So love that. We use lots of these in my home. And then another container that I have, I use tons of these as well. This is an interior design container. Love it. It's not too deep, as you can see. It's not too deep. Has a handle on either end, so easy to pull in, pull out. And I can actually reach in there and grab my products from this container without having to slide the whole container out. Another container that I love is the one that you see here on the cabinet door. I keep my garbage bags in that. Just need to tweak it a little bit. Have it stuffed just a little too full. I'm trying to remember where that came from. Again, it was probably Home Goods Ross, TJ Maxx, Marshalls. So those are usually my go-tos. So I am going to stop talking. You'll see me working. And of course, I'll fast forward through the whole process and then you'll see what the end result is.
Okay guys, here is the finished cabinet. I've got the bags all in order there. I have the Lazy Susan here with the cleaning products that I use the most often. I can see them, I can get to them. I love this Lazy Susan because it has about a one, one and a half inch deep side on it. So things aren't gonna topple over quite as easily. And in this container here, I have our uh, water filter for the refrigerator, uh, some extra dish liquid, my candles, our garbage bags, and the dishwashing liquid right there. And this is my cleaning basket. I can just grab and go whenever I'm ready and I've got cleaning to do throughout the house. I can just grab and go. And this is our drying mat, our dish drying mat. Put that back in in a minute. And in the very back, I have extra gloves, uh, air fresheners, the magic eraser, a, a dish cleaning brush. So that's gonna work out really well and everything fits in here perfectly. So we'll put that back in. And there you have it. It looks so much better than it did before. There were a few th items that I got rid of um, that really didn't need to be under there. So there you have it. And I did clean out the bottom before I placed everything back in here. You saw me um, using one of these, a disinfecting wipe on that cabinet. So there you have it. These are things that I use all the time. This is gonna work much better if I'm disciplined enough to keep it clean and in order. And I love the Lazy Susans. I use them in the pantry. If you remember the pantry organization that I did, um, I love these. I use these in different places in my cabinetry where dishware is. They're great to use in the pantry. Anywhere that you store anything, bathroom, Great, love it. So this is gonna work much better. All right, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please subscribe and join me on my YouTube journey, Designer Savvy. It's a home and lifestyle channel and we do all kinds of fun things like this. And remember in January, you're gonna be seeing home videos, getting organized for the year, decluttering, cleaning, and then organizing and finally decorating. So lots of great things to come, lots of good tips to come. So thanks so much for watching and like this video, share it with your family and friends and remember to subscribe. That's how I can let you know when I post new videos each week. Thanks so much and have a great week.